Welcome back to Physics in Five Minutes, where I'm going to blow your mind with a brand new theory of physics in just five minutes. And today we're talking about atoms. Okay, now most people think that atoms look something like this picture here. Okay, now what I need you to do is I need you to forget about this because this is wrong. I need you to unlearn what you have learned. Now this started by thinking about what would happen if you had a proton and an electron, what would they do? Well, I think since they're oppositely charged that they would just crash into each other like that, right? And be stuck together. And that is key because the problem, main problem with the current atomic model is it says that the electrons are somehow flying around the nucleus, uh, which is silly, okay? Any, 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 any electron would just simply spiral in and be attached to the proton. So it's a solid object. And this is your first atom, which is hydrogen. Now the other element that we have in atoms are neutrons, which I've represented with these white blocks. And uh, this is merely a positron, which is a positive charge, and an electron glued together. So that is what a neutron. A neutron is just a positron electron, okay? And uh, if you were to attach the neutron onto the hydrogen atom, it fits neatly opposite charges, then you get your first isotope of hydrogen, which is deuterium. Now, the key to all atoms is that you keep on stacking these deuteriums up. You get every single element in the periodic table of elements. So if I got another deuterium here, then I can go ahead and I can uh, attach it to my other deuterium and I get hydrogen and then I can go ahead and attach another one and then I can get uh, lithium right the stuff you make car batteries up and you keep building this up and it builds out and it builds up and what you end up with is a shape that looks like this this is called an octahedral shape right it's a like two pyramids stuck on the bottom of each other's octahedral and uh, the reason why atoms form things, you know, like just like water molecule here, is because the, the arms that you see sticking out here, those are the reactive docking ports for other atoms. So oxygen would only use two of these, carbon would use four of these. I have a model of, of uh, from organic chemistry of a metal, and you can see that it exactly re replicates this octahedral shape. And we also see the octahedral shape in nature. So, for example, we have a gold crystal here. And guess what? It's in the shape of an octahedral, which tells you that probably the underlying shape of the atom is, in fact, an octahedral. So that's it. That is how atoms are actually built. That's what they would actually look like if you had a sufficiently strong microscope. And if you think that I'm just blowing smoke, please go look at my detailed paper link below. And also, please watch on my playlist my other videos about the cubic atomic model, which will show you exactly all of the atoms up to like, you know, uh, uranium and how they look and how, how they are built up. So uh, please go ahead and make sure if you like this video, say give me a like and uh, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta!